Everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Paul Nguma, founder of Penology Lab. In today's video, we're going to address Shiba Inu and why it's going crazy so much throughout the past few days. Um, I'm also going to be like breaking it down in a more technical standpoint to help those who are not very familiar with reading charts. And lastly, I'm going to provide an update on Mara, which I made a video about in on sat on Sunday. Yeah, right after the intro. All right, y'all, before we begin again, do not forget to annihilate the like button on your way in. And also don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel, all right? So let's get started. Right now, I pulled up Shiba Inu, and this pump right here was actually, it, it was predictable. And hear me out. Hear me out when I say that it was predictable. For those of you who are new to trading and have no idea what is going on, okay, um, if you look on the chart, there is a reverse, actually a triple bottom, or you can call it a reverse head and shoulders. It's quite clean, it's on the chart. I have been watching this thing since uh, September 17th, right over here. After they put out the news that it was going to be added on Coinbase, right? So we have the left shoulder, we have the head, and then we have the right shoulder. So after that news got put out, it got pumped at first, and then people started selling into it. But into that sell-off, there was another pattern which appeared on the charts. Let me change this to the one, um, to the one hour. Then let me zoom in right over here. All right. So if you look closely, there is this thing right there. A, bear, a bullish triangle that broke out quite cleanly. I'm going to show you exactly like this is how I approached it. I'm about to show you exactly in the Discord later. But as soon as it was cooking in here on the 27th, that is where I actually posted it in the Discord, which is right over here, right in this picture, along with like the chart and everything with the price target on here. And um, right after that, a few days after that, it started breaking out. And then we started adding some more. Here is another one again. And one thing that I want you to like pay close attention to is this spike that happened on October 1st. That spike happened around like uh, when the price was at uh, 709 points. Again, there's a lot of decimals on here. So I'm just gonna say 709. There was a news about some well that bought about 43 million um, Shiba, 43 million dollar worth of Shiba which was around 6 trillion coins, all right? So that that started the spike, and that spike was right here. So that's pretty much like the first indicator that you want to use that signals the next big move. And then after that move, the rest was history. Um, if you go on here again, and let me just go all the way down to here. This is when it reached that first price target. That was on the third, right? And then I pretty much showed everybody in the Discord again to start accumulating under that zone, all right? To keep buying before it breaks out because when it does break out, the thing about crypto is that the frenzy start. As soon as it breaks out, everybody starts buying in. As y'all are looking at it right now on the chart, again, um, the price is at 34 34 points. I think it's gonna go a lot higher towards towards around. Let me see. Let me put this like that. All right. I think it's gonna go towards like 45 before we see some type of retracement. I'm not. I'm definitely not bearish on this. And should you buy this thing at these highs, the answer is absolutely not. Um, you want to be patient. If you missed it, it's completely fine. It's completely okay there will be a pullback on there. Um, it's going quite vertical. I just think that it needs one more day. All right, wait for this thing to get up here towards 45 points, right? Maybe a little bit higher towards 47 before we see like a massive retracement all the way back down to like 30, maybe back down to like 27. 
and that is when you can start buying in all right and uh, this one is definitely something that you want to uh, to hold long term again if you're up big if you took this trade and you want to take some profits off you definitely may but swing trading in in crypto in general like if you feel swing trading for like a few days at a time you you're playing the wrong game you're playing the wrong game some people are in here for the long term especially that one person who bought 43 million um dollar worth right over here all right so just just keep that in mind don't try, try to not fomo into this just be patient if you missed it it's okay there will always be another coin that will pop up somewhere and i will make a video about it i wanted to make a video about this one earlier but this week has been crazy for me and i just did not have time to put out um, as much content as i wanted to so yeah that's my very honest opinion on sheep what was sheep for a move all the way up to around like 47 right here and then this is where it's going to pull back all right now let's do an update on mara all right and for those of y'all who watched yesterday's video i told y'all that the crypto bull was awake i showed y'all everything all the details are in that video you can definitely check it out it's pinned to this video but again since this thing since bitcoin started running mara was actually forming something really really nice it was forming a falling wedge and the video was timely so congratulations to anybody who was able to make some money on this like i told y'all to wait for this thing to consolidate a little bit it did it performed really really well and the entry like the best possible entry which was which is when i got in was right over here right at 33 dollars before the breakout and then after the breakout the plan was to accumulate this is the plan to pretty much buy as many calls as possible because it's behaving in the way that we like all right it's breaking out cleanly it broke out cleanly and we just kept buying and buying and buying and holding this thing all the way up to my price target of that circle as you can see it's right next to it so yes i did take some profits off i took like almost i, I took all of it out and then i got back in um we're just a little bit we're more tighter with, with contracts that have a tighter expiration with a fraction with a very small fraction of those profits for tomorrow just in case btc wants to run to 60k i think it's going to run to 60 to 60k per coin and if that happens then mara should should run all the way up to like 43 dollars tomorrow all right so just keep your eyes on that hopefully you weren't too greedy again hopefully you paid yourself and um and for for those of y'all who also bought riot um riot is a little bit slow it's not my favorite coin to hold that's why i pretty much shared mara with all of you that way um you can pretty much make a lot more money from that big move all right that's my very honest opinion on uh on the stock and this is pretty much how this is pretty much how we did over here all right and this is the pnl of discord and today the majority of us were trading mara somebody was able to make um 470 bucks off of that again um for this video who missed out on sheep mara paid a lot more just saying yes sheep is going crazy but again with, with the, in the world of options options pay a lot more so somebody made 400 uh, and seventy dollars i was up 10k for my mara trade because i was very i was accumulating it as soon as it hit that 34 dollar mark i was just accumulating and buying more and more all right and somebody else made a lot more money on mara over here as you can see so overall everybody did well another stock that we were watched was msrt which also follows mara when crypto is bullish msrt also goes crazy so somebody was able to make a lot of money on that one too. So shout out to you and great job on nailing MSRT. Um, somebody else was able to make a grand on Mara and someone else was able to make another grand on Mara. So yeah, that's pretty much how we did. Again, congrats to anybody who were able to take that trade. And for those of y'all, again, control. I know you're feeling a lot of FOMO right now with sheep. I know you want to chase. 
but you have to be patient, all right? If you want to average in, you can, but just know that it's getting very, very vertical, very vertical, and as soon as it hits that 40, that 45, 46, there'll be a nasty, a nasty pullback. So just be careful, all right? So yeah, that's the end of the video. Again, do not forget to annihilate the like button for the YouTube algorithm as always. Also, if you are new to the channel, definitely click on subscribe and click on the notification bell along with all notifications that way you don't miss out on future uploads if you'd like to be part of a private discord community you can find that as the very first link in the description of the video below if you're not following us on social media you can find me at paul Nguma and at pedonology lab on instagram and on twitter and lastly, if all of this is brand new to you, if you're interested in getting started in the stock market, I left some very basic step-by-step -step directions in the description of the video below. Step one to step three. It only takes about 15 minutes or less for you to get signed up with all the tools you need to start trading immediately. You can also get two free stocks related up to $1,850 right after you sign up with Webull using the third link in the description of the video below. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Nguma with Patternology Lab, where we trade patterns and patterns only. And I will see all of you in the next video, right? Enjoy the outro.